So I know this is going to sound crazy, but, you know, remember in Genesis, God only made a human being from dirt. And it, he doesn't really tell us, you know, how he did it or, you know, anything like that. And considering that God is very generous, generous, you know, in what he allows people to do or our capabilities, you know, when you look at what robotics are, you know, it is basically people, they figured out how to make another person. Now, I know that sounds a little bit extreme. You know, we sometimes think of robots as, you know, oh, it's just mechanical type of thing. But, you know, when you actually look at how God, you know, he just used dirt, you know, he didn't, he, we consider dirt today. We're like, oh, you know, I know what dirt is and, you know, it's, it's really one of the lowest things that are on this earth type of thing. But yet that's what God made us out of. And so when you think about robotics, God made, God made us out of dirt and people are making, I would say it basically other human being, you know, I mean, it's something higher than an animal, you know, uh, it's definitely something as far as, you know, I know we have a little bit of a recording of animals being able to talk in the book of Genesis, but today, you know, animals don't talk. And so, you know, what they're doing in robotics, I just say to myself, you know, I know it has to be the last days because, you know, for people to make other human beings now outside of, you know, basically outside of the womb, if you want to look at it like that, I know you could possibly look at robotics and say, oh, no, they're not doing that. But that, I would say if you really just, you know, compare how God made people and he made it with, you know, his intelligence, we are pretty much doing the same thing. And so. That's one of the ways I know that we have to be close to the last days. Just when you look at, excuse me, when you look at the whole story of the Tower of Babel and everything and how, you know, God didn't want them to even build a tall building. You know, it just if we're if we're making other human beings we have to be, you know, infringing on what God wants us to do as the human race right on this side of heaven. Now, will we possibly make human beings uh, in for all of eternity? I think, you know, I've heard sermons where they say that we we, you know, people will be made throughout all of eternity. Um, I am on the fence. You know, sometimes I doubt you know, if we are, you know, the people who are alive today and in the past and maybe a little bit before Jesus comes, who's, uh, you know, born, are those going to be all the people that ever exist for throughout all of eternity? Or, you know, will we be, you know, making human beings or, you know, will God sort of get involved as far as, you know, the creation of more people throughout the future and eternity? I don't know. You know, I know there are some Bible verses that can allude to how God will continue to make people throughout throughout all of eternity. Just because one of the ways that I think it might be true is just because, you know, on a good day, I think it is such a blessing to be alive. I know on our bad days or when we're going through suffering, you know, it's not. But um, I would want anyone to experience the joy and uh the blessing of what in one knowing god and being alive and so um i'll leave the comments open uh you can tell me what you think on this one and so thanks so much see ya